Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review on a blooming cold day, I've got to be honest. It's September, but it feels like November, December. Um, gosh, it's cold. So, going over to Little Brewing, based in Derby now, and I assume it's on an industrial estate in Derby. I don't know where it is. But I have been there. So I picked this up the other week from the brewery. It's called Dragon. It's a pale ale. And look all their branding. It's very um, easy to understand. Um, bold. Right. Let's have a read of the... Um, Forget fire-breathing monsters capturing damsels in distress. This is off the scale. If you could forgive the dragon pun. <laughs> the hops are Slovenian wolf, cardinal and dragon. Gotta be honest, dragon hops. Different. Tasting notes are mango, citrus and berry fruit. Hazy and delicious. 5.5% volume. And that's the old address. So we won't even bother with that address. I think it is anyway. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. So. And if you've never been to the tap room, wow. Um, absolutely outstanding tap room. Uh, they've no expense spared, you know. They've invested uh, a lot of money into that. So, you know, I, I, I absolutely truly hope it goes very very well for them uh, seemed to do the first day we went and there we go so there's the beer you see a lot of their beer on cask all over um although technically i am for a bit uh i've not come across it in in certain pubs that i go in um, but I know it is, it's still around because I, I see it on pubs and, you know, there's only so many pubs you can all visit, um, um, liver and financially wise as well. So it's like hazy pour, it classed it as like an orangey gold colour pour, don't kill me for getting colours wrong, with a finger of white head on there. Mm. Oh, first beer of the day. It's just gone seven o'clock. Um, I've not long got home. Took this on to um, karate. Well, I'll kickboxing actually. And I thought I'd come down the shed. Brave the pear tree that's straggled across my path. And uh, I need to chop it up tomorrow. When I come home from work. Been waiting for the green bin to be emptied. Kind of wish now I'd paid to, <laughs> paid to get the brown bin because but I'm not paying 40 quid to this can, so not when you don't get anything off them anyway. But that's for another day. There's a lovely citrusy note on there, but there's a lovely vanilla, creamy vanilla coming through. Hold on a minute, let me check them flavours. Mango citrus. Yeah. I wonder if the berry that I'm getting, I'm definitely getting the mango now, but I wonder if the berry that I'm getting is more of what I'm thinking is more of a vanilla flavour. Got to be honest, tasting very, very nice. Um... I've been a fan of this brewery, you know, ever since they rebranded. There was Little Over Brewery, changed the branding, went for this bold design. Now we're in the tap room, you know, uh, bumped into one of the brewers over at the Castle Rocks um, yard party. <sighs> not last year, not this year because I didn't go. Um, maybe last year, or would it be two years ago? 
Might even have been two years ago. <laughs> kind of pulling away from doing every single blooming beer festival. Why? Um, I've got to be honest. I look at the pricing, and then you get then you get free beer festivals. Beer's there. It's cheap and cheerful. I mean, we've got local beer festivals near us. You pay a fiver to get in. I'm all, I'm good for a fiver. I've got a bloody glass for a fiver. You know, and that was Blackwoods around the corner from us. Brilliant. And I, so I'm good for paying for some beer festivals, but not every beer festival. You know, it's got to be a pull to get us down there. And the rest of the apple drinkers also, because they are, they, my wife, obviously, and my friends, who we, you know, predominantly go around with. Um, oh. That is tasting very nice. It's very fruity. It's... Um, not trying to be a full-on smack-in-the-face craft beer, but it is delivering craft in a way that delivers flavour, but at a, a, you know, a, a reasonable price. What we've got to understand is, with craft beer, the more ingredients you put in, and the more hops you put in, and blah, 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 uh, eventually ups the price, because, you know, they've got to set the beer at a price where they're going to get an X, X amount of profit back. I can only assume anyway. Um, like my wife when she bakes a cake, you know, the hours that go into it, the, you know, the ingredients, all this, you know, and uh, a lot of people don't understand that. And I'm just talking about a cake in a cake way. It is absolutely freezing in there. And I'm already at that t time, I mean, we're only in September, where I'm thinking it's time to unleash the thermals, because uh, I hate being cold. I can take a jumper off and just have my black thermal uh, long sleeve uh, t-shirt thing, but at least I'm warm. Um, definitely thinking about this winter, um, these thermal, USB thermal, not... not I would go for socks, but socks get chatty. And uh, I don't know how the thermal would work where every time you try and <laughs> wash blooming socks. Uh, I don't know how that would work. But feet, I mean, w with me, I'll put a hat on and you're surprised how much heat you lose out of your head, especially as you get, old, get older and you get bolder, older and bolder. <laughs> um, but you do lose heat out of your head. So it's, it's going to be time to um, think about um, yeah, certainly think about you know, protecting my warmth for the winter. It's better to be nice and snug than freezing. It's like now, I am cold in here. I don't know what the temperature is. I need to bring the thermometer back in. It looks like the October days are over because unless we get a blooming heat wave now, that's it for this year. So we managed to get in the October full seven or eight times this year. Yeah. <laughs> All the money you spend on these Octobers. I know people like going in them in the winter. It's all right going in in the winter. But it's bloody freezing getting out. And uh, that's the killer. Plus at the moment we've got a tree down. down. It's not. A, it's only about a 10 foot tree. But it's a big bushy 10 foot tree that's blocking the pathway to the sheds. And uh, yeah, I've got to get it sorted. Might have to grab a tum bag from work and bring it home and... Chop it all into a tum bag and then get the van and come home with a van bomb and pick it up. 
and, uh, and get rid of a few bits as well. Yeah, there's an idea. Yeah, maybe anyway. So, I've enjoyed this. Uh, it's gone down a treat, little brewing. Love the brewery. Um, hoping to get over again at some stage. Uh, but, you know, it's not easy for me to get to Derby. Uh, it requires basically a car for me, uh, which means somebody's not drinking. Um, or they're drinking a pint and a half, maybe. Two pints at the most. Um, for obvious reasons, you know. Um, but yeah, cracking beer. Not sure if they're available at Adventure Beer anymore. Uh, I've not come across um, any posts that's saying it's available. Um, God knows what's going on there. Um, I suppose time changes, doesn't it? You know, um, I suppose, yeah, I suppose everything changes. I mean, in COVID times, me doing the lives was, you know, what, really brought the channel to the forefront uh these days i myself i'm super super busy um in them days i didn't really do any any extra gardens so i was getting home for free and that was my day um you know half past three i'm done for the night and uh nowadays I'm <laughs> doing more hours than, than a little. It's funny how, how it's worked out that, uh, you know, but I am getting a lot more days off in the winter months when it's cold. So all that, all that loo time works out lovely when it is cold. And uh, utilising days when the weather's good and doing work that needs to be done um, in my setting, which is a hotel setting. So, you know, if I come across a day where it's lovely and sunny at work, and when I come home, I'm, I'm only going to dust on the settee when I come home anyway. Uh, I'm not going to go out in the garden. But utilising them days to mow the lawn, mow the lawns and do whatever needs to be done and maybe add an extra hour or so there and keep doing that. I mean, already this, this week, I've already, I'm already on about four and a half to five hours extra and I'm only done four days. So not overly going overboard, but certainly it all builds up um, in the long run. Anyway, as boring as my life is and uh, looking, you know, in September, you look at what's coming and obviously the darker nights and that. Uh, wife's got quite a bit of painting. We're going to redo the kitchen. Downstairs toilet. And there's a multitude of, um, yeah, of stuff to um, go through in that respect. Um Oh, <sighs> but uh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> um, I mean, this winter I'm looking to get back into video gaming. Um, I was and am a good video gamer, and uh, um, the the world of films and TV bores the sh absolute. Sh shizzle at me um so getting back into that and looking at some of the games that i used to absolutely love getting back into them and redoing them again with updated graphics um you know today's games are pitiful compared to what used to be around uh, in my honest opinion uh but anyway, talking about honest opinions little brewing a lovely beer that mango really it's uh, I still got a vanilla creaminess I don't know where that came from still got the citrus and didn't really get the berry but um, we all get what we get a 
but it's a beer that delivers flavour. Would I drink it again? Yes, I'd love to have this on cask. I'm not sure if I've had it on cask before. Um, I've drank that many beers that sometimes it's difficult to remember. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember everything. Flipping it. I'm lucky if I remember what I did last night. Don't mind anything else. Um, out of five, for me, a good 4.4 .4 out of five. Cracking brewery. If you ever see their beers, get them. Can or cask. And if you're lucky enough to live near the, the tap room, get yourselves down, go and enjoy their beers. Cheers all. Tell them Maggie sent you. <laughs>